Hello fellow audiophile friends. This is a guide on how to convert your standard crossover to a fur one. The result we want to get is this. It's a free little tweak thanks to Mr. Thomas Drug Eon and his program Reface. Sound quality is important, and comes right after your wife. Type down all numbers from your favorite slope in the Linguist Rayleigh domain. You can use a notepad or a paper if you have a pen. Before we are done we can do a performance check. Click on the fur tab presented under the X Rossover tab. In this case we want to use 1024. Tabs used means tabs claimed to this output and can be changed. 1024 will give around 11 milliseconds latency from when you hit play. And today that is what we want. Now let's move to the Reface platform and start generating some files. Do you remember your numbers we wrote down? They will come in handy now. Bring them to view and fill them in under the Linear Phase tab. Don't be shy, you can do it, as Bob Ross used to say. Type also in your tap number, or number of calculations as some describe them. Gaze down until you hit windowing, I'm gonna chose first cousin today, it's a very efficient algorithm. Next stop is optimization and we run it at moderate. Rate is the value that your fur reader use, in this case it's mini shark and it wants it at 48,000. Note that you can run music also at 44.1k or 96k if you want after we are done. The format for this exercise is bin. Pick a file name that's very distinctly point on where the file should be used. Now start generate our product. Don't use too few taps. It will get messy. Now we do the rest. When you get warm in your clothes, you can include the PEQ as well, under the paragraphic gain EQ. Let's start where we left off. Go to your fur tab and load the right one for this driver.
Browse, send, let through. That is the basics here. Don't forget to send, it's important. Now we do the rest. Turn off the invert faces, you won't need it anymore. Please do a bus test to see if each output is well filtered. This is the difference in latency between shark crossover and the fur. As you can see we have now 11 milliseconds and it will be fully okay for TV sync. We have in other words trade speed for quality. A good deal as far as I concern. Take into account that all drivers will run at 11 milliseconds, so the same delay works for both setups if the same taps amount used. Now you can compare your new setup with the previous. And remember there are no shortcuts to the perfect sound. As Uncle Barbro used to say. <laughs> 